Alright, it is uh, 8 o'clock right now, so I'm gonna uh, lay down for my first little snooze. I've set up cloth up because um, it's leaning on that side so <laughs> I don't feel the need to I guess you know it's my own fault then if I fall out and then I'll put it up but yeah I'm a bit lazy now engine's still running wind's still pretty light um, I've got my AAS alarm on and I've got my my watch commander on as well for set off for 15 minutes now last uh, time I did 12 minutes but since I'm a bit further offshore now I feel comfortable with 15 nav lights are not on yet because the Sun hasn't set yet and I'll wake up in time um, to set them it's going quite well now um, quite pleased winds supposed to pick up this evening uh, we'll see if that holds true and yeah there we go so just turn on the nav lights uh, the winds got even less uh, but thankfully my motor works these days it's going quite well otherwise I think I haven't managed to sleep yet though it's a bit hard when you're not really tired like it's um, five to nine now sunsets at nine and yeah not really in that rhythm where where I'm tired at nine already or at eight even. Okay, I'm sorry it's dark, so you won't be able to see anything, but you can hear my voice at least. There's a lightning storm going on over there, and oh gosh, I don't think I don't want that. Please. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I hope it's moving away from me, but how do I know? I have to just watch it for a while, I guess, and then decide if I can even run away from it. I don't think so. From the moon, it looks like the clouds are moving in my general direction. There may be a bit, um, more east, which would be nice, I think. Uh, I don't know if you can see the lightnings at all. Um, yeah, that is terrifying to me. So, yay. Good morning, um, it is 8 o'clock on the second day. It was quite an eventful night actually, like um, I tried to film it but um, I don't know how well you can see it, I guess I'll see in editing. For like two hours there was like a lightning storm right next to me and um, I, was <laughs> I turned on the engine and I tried to like escape it um, or motor away from it. I don't know how well that worked. Like I didn't, I didn't end up in it, so maybe it did help. But um, logic does say that you can't really motor away from the clouds or from the weather. But it worked out. I was just, I was so so scared. Honestly, the most scared I've ever been. Maybe I don't know. Very like. There's one point where I literally, honestly, thought I was going to be sick. I was so scared um, that the clouds and that the lightning was coming my way. And then there was, because there was so much of it. Like, it wasn't just like one little storm cloud. It was this huge cloud with probably four, five, six patches of lightning. Um, where like the lightning reoccurred and yeah it took two hours to motor past it so yeah uh, not a lot of sleep tonight i'll be honest i hope i can catch some during the day 
the, the, those are my insights of, of yesterday night. Scary. Scary as hell. Yeah, other than that, I will be having my coffee. And I have some leftover dinner from yesterday, so I'll probably be snacking on that. Um, yeah, about 140, 130 miles to go, I think. Let's get it. So, uh, I just completely took down the main tail. I reefed it first, but um, we're still doing over six months, like six and a half or something, which is quite a lot. And um, I couldn't handle it so easily. And yeah, well, don't need to go that far. That fast. There's no need. And also, the reason why I reefed it in the first place, actually, <laughs> was so that. Mm, I felt it was blocking the wind from the foresail a bit and you know when the winds from behind the foresail really is the better of the two sails. It's bigger and, and it's more forward. Um, so I reefed it a little bit so that the foresail could get some wind and now, well now obviously it's getting all the wind because it's the only sail but uh, still going pretty well. Still going over five actually. So, yay. I can't seem to sleep though, which is a bit of a... I really tried hard. Other than that, it will be very eventful. Oh, please no. I, I feel like I had an eventful enough day yesterday. I think if today is just like super chill, that would be amazing. Like, eventful enough that there's enough speed and wind to get me where I need to go but chill enough so that I can not have to do too much. Well, raising some of the main again. I'm always quite tempted to like, I guess because it's so easy, um, to like shake and take reefs Whenever, like, you know, it's really, I guess, the way it should be, but there's no... Because it's so easy, I'll be doing it a lot, I guess. Don't mind it, because there's something to do. Let's check. Yes. 117 miles to go. I'll get that tomorrow. Okay, so continue on like this. Knock on the wood. Yeah, it's looking very good. Okay, right. uh, uh, oh I've got a little sewing project. This is my Spain flag. And uh, it only has like um, like you meant to stick a stick through here, um, but that is not gonna work for my flag line. So I've got some flag line here, and I'm just gonna like feed it through there and then sew it together. I know that that holds up. I'm really bad at sewing, so this is gonna be so much fun. You need to keep yourself busy though. That's important entertainment. We got it all. I really am so bad at saying I remember we learnt it in primary school, but I can't remember anything anymore. Um, like no stitches, so I just always uh, go in and out and in and out. It's one of my great talents, I would say. I've got a knack for it. Look at that. Ain't that a beautiful stitch? But it's good. Honestly, sewing and I, I think that's what Taylor Swift's uh, song Love Story is about. Because, like, it is the ultimate love story. Like, look at that. Look at that. Talent, love, dedication, creativity. I'm so impressed with myself. And there we have it. The masterpiece is done. Yeah, wow. Oh my 
God, I think Zoe and I, I think we eloped, like, we wrote our wedding vows into this stitching. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. My retiredness is getting to me. I think I'm becoming stupid. This seems to be a pretty popular fishing spot. He just came quite close by me. And the AIS uh, that I watch um, is showing me lots of targets and they're all fishing boats um, from either Spain or France. I guess this is the meeting point. But yeah, well, if they're trawling, obviously I keep out of their way. Well, I generally try to keep out of their way, really. Um, but if they're trawling, uh, often the AIS says that information. Um, or you can sort of guess as well by the speed that they're going, like if they're going really slow, like a knot or less maybe even, then they're probably trawling or something. But if they're going like 10 knots, then they won't have any nets out. At least, like if anybody's an expert in, in fishing boats and that is wrong, please correct me. But that's always the assumption that I worked with at least. Um, but yeah, sometimes in the AIS information it'll say engaged in fishing or something like that. So guys, this is my first multi-night trip and uh, by that I mean two nights. <laughs> um, I thought it, like, it was going to be really interesting for me to see how I deal with like, the cat napping and everything. And mixed reviews thus far. Uh, though, I mean, the second night hasn't even happened yet. I did have like a really good spell um, this afternoon, which is nice, but other, like I'm not a good napper, I think. <laughs> this is a, tra a skill you can train yourself and your body to, to be good at, but uh, it takes a while for me to go to sleep at the moment, so out of 15 minutes of uh, laying down time, I'll probably sleep like five. Um, which isn't that rejuvenating, I'll say. Um, but yeah, like I said, I had quite a good spell um, this afternoon where I uh, basically fell right back asleep after I laid down. Another thing, this trip, my battery is really empty, which um, I guess I've been running the autopilot a lot and um, he's been working hard as well. And it's been this sort of weather, like very overcast. So I guess that all adds up. But it's never happened to me before. Like since I got solar panels, um, my batteries have not been empty. Um, but you know, solar panels only do help when the sun does shine. And it does like the little um, blinky light on the charger says that it is charging, but it's got to be like minimal. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to do during the night. Um, during the day it was okay, um, I never had any issues there, but I think, you know, once the sun sets fully and there's not even like the slightest trickle of charge coming in, it might become a problem. And, and, and here's another thing <laughs> that adds to that problem, uh, is that Yesterday, while I was trying to run away from the storm, uh, I, I was motoring, and uh, then already the battery uh, was saying that it was empty. Uh, so I thought, like, oh yeah, I'm motoring; it'll charge itself up now. It did not for some reason. Like, okay, again, I had the autopilot on while I was motoring, but I thought. I thought the alternator would give enough charge to charge the batteries up even more. Also, since last night's storm, I am irrationally terrified of clouds. So that's also fun because there's a lot of them. So it's, yeah, it's been a really, really good day for me and clouds. Okay. Donald charge on the go right now so as you can hear I've turned on my engine and I'll be hand steering for an hour and then I mean that should charge the battery uh, otherwise something's wrong but also the sun is out it is one hour from setting so not a lot of sunlight but sunlight nonetheless so double charge uh, hopefully we can 
can get this leisure battery topped up and then I can have some snoozers in the night. I would like to clarify that I only later learned that the alternator takes much longer to charge the battery. Please excuse my ignorance. Alright, two developments. Um, the running the engine did not work. Um, I'm current, the autopilot is currently running on both batteries, which is not really a good solution for, you know, I mean, both means if the, if the leisure battery is empty, it's running off the engine starter battery. It's not really a solution because if I need to start the engine, obviously I want that to be topped up. I don't understand. I ran it for an hour. Um, it should be like, like it says when I put the autopilot on, it said uh, low battery. Like there should be at least some charge in it, right? Even if it's not full. So, I don't know, alternator problems maybe? Oh, other news, we are in Spanish water, so uh, this is the French flag which I just took down. Put the Spanish one up, yay! <laughs> we are in Spanish water, so that's very exciting. Um, yeah, should get there tomorrow. Hopefully, now I will see. Maybe I can have a quick look at the alternator. Maybe some of the cables are like come loose. Um, but otherwise, probably have to hand stitch tonight. At least, at least mainly. Um, yeah, so that's fun. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is day three. The morning. arriving today. I think I explained what's happening when I talk in my battery. I didn't have to the whole night. Oh gosh. I'm so glad I didn't as well. I'm so tired right now. And the cat mapping. Uh, I think it went quite well. It, like, I think my verdict is that you have to be quite tired in order to work. Um, but if you are tired, then Of 
course now you calm down and on camera of course it doesn't look as bad as it actually is um, Let's check this out then, shall we? Where's the fossil? I took it down. It is so windy um, that even like even the mainsail's got one reef in it. Still doing. Okay, that says 4.7 now. That's fine. Um, but yeah, four and a half, five knots, sometimes six. I think maybe I've come around a little corner. Uh, watch out, wind noises. Over there, um, it was so so windy. But I'm going into this little river, hopefully. Over there, um, by Santander. And I really do hope that that's well protected. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to have a little think where I will spend the night. But chart on the chart, it looks pretty well protected, so I've got high hopes.